In this Tosca session, we are going to talk about the multi-user workspaces in Tosca. Now, until now, we have seen how to create a single user workspace and how to use it. Now, this single user workspace can be used by only one user at a time, right? If multiple users want to use the same workspace, you have to create a multi-user workspace in Tosca. Now, you might think that multi-user workspace can only be created if you have got a database connection in place, but uh, it's not always true. Okay, so Tosca also provides you uh, with an option where even if you don't have a particular database like Oracle or SQL Server or DB2, you can still create a in memory uh, database uh, multi user workspace, and that can be done using uh, the SQLite. Okay, so there is an option to create a multi user workspace using SQLite. You don't require any uh, connection strings for that particular uh, database type and uh, you can use it to create a multi-user workspace to check out the functionality in Tosca. But one thing you have to remember is this SQLite workspace cannot be used in a real-time project. Okay, It can be used for a demo or practice, as I said, uh, to check out the functionality for multi-user workspace but it is not a real solution where you can use it for a, a real uh, project, okay? For real project, you should have a, a dedicated database instance, either a Oracle uh, MS SQL Server or a DB2 workspace, right? But uh, for practice, we can still use this, and that is what I'm going to show you, how you can create a multi-user workspace, and then uh, probably you can check out all the functionalities which come up uh, on this multi-user workspace, which is not available in the single user workspace, okay? So the process is almost the same, okay? So not much changes. Uh, if you're not using a particular database instance, then you don't need to provide the connection string, which contains the username, password, and the DB connection string. Uh, but for SQLite workspace, if you're creating that, uh, you don't require those, okay? So when you come to the Tosca commander screen, uh, there is a create new option, okay? And until now we have been using this type of repository as none, which will create a single user workspace. But now uh, we are going to go into the other option, which is SQLite, okay? As I said, if you have a dedicated database instance, you can use Oracle, MS SQL Server, and DB2. So if you look at the MS SQL Server, uh, so you will have some additional fields which you need to fill. Okay, uh, the most important is the connection string. Now, uh, if you have this connection string and if you place it here, uh, you can test the connection. Okay, and once the connection is valid, then uh, you can create your workspace in that particular database. So that is the process. Okay, and it will be similar for Oracle uh, or DB2. Okay, so any kind of uh, database you require, you have to at least give a connection string. Now schema is not mandatory, it's an optional field. So it's mostly the connection string and then uh, testing the connection, okay? So uh, for SQLite, as I said, uh, you don't require the connection string or the schema, right? So as you can see, those fields are not available, but still it will create a multi-user workspace for me, okay? Uh, and that's what uh, I'm going to, do okay so it will create the new workspace in this folder you can always change this to any particular folder you have to give it a name okay so what i'm going to give is multi demo okay so this is my uh, multi user workspace and uh, you can also create a slim workspace now slim workspace will take less uh, amount of space but uh, if you have got a uh, high data volume, right, um, then um, you should use the slim workspace, which will basically speed up uh, your uh, whole repository. But if not, then um, I prefer not to use it, okay? Also, if you have not created uh, any other repository using this uh, particular, or any other workspace using this particular repository, then uh, do remember to check out the use existing repository, otherwise uh, the you cannot proceed, okay? So uh, let's check out this, and now uh, I can see that it has been enabled, okay? 
So uh, once you have created a particular workspace using this repository, then you can click on this use existing repository. Okay, now uh, click on OK and uh, it will start creating a multi user workspace for you. Uh, once it is created, uh, it will open that workspace. And now we can see some of the options which will be enabled, right? Which were not present or disabled um, when we are using a single user workspace. Okay. Also, uh, one major difference you will see that for single user workspace, there was never a login screen, right? But now you can see that there is a login screen. Now, if you get this kind of a login screen when you create a multi user workspace for the first time, Okay, uh, you would wonder what is the password for this workspace, but for now Tosca has created a user for you, which is the admin, which is the default user and there is no password for it. Okay, so don't enter any password and click on login. So now you can create different users uh, in this kind of a workspace also. Uh, when you go into your project. Okay, so if I open my project and i put it here you can see there is a green sign which is displayed and uh, this green sign which is displayed for every particular section or object right it tells you that uh, these objects are checked out or the project is even checked out okay so there is a checkout and check-in process uh, which is there for a multi-user workspace because multiple users are working on the same workspace so there has to be a process of how the changes uh, will get merged, right? When multiple users are working in a workspace. So when you create or open a multi-user workspace, right? Uh, the objects which are checked out, uh, you can only work on those particular objects, okay? Now, if you see any particular object uh, with red color uh, in the beginning, right, a red stripe, then that means uh, that object is checked out by some other user. And you basically cannot work on that particular object or uh, on that particular folder, right, because somebody else is working on that. So this is how uh, the checkout and check-in process works. So if a particular object or folder has been checked out by any particular user, and he's working on it, no other user can basically uh, make any changes to that particular folder or object. Okay, so once you complete working on a particular folder or object, you have to check in your changes. And if other users are simultaneously working on other objects or other folders, right, and they check in something, then uh, there is an option called update all. Right, so when you click on this update all, what it will do, uh, it will fetch all the changes from the repository or the database, right? And it will merge those changes into your particular workspace, right? So you will get all the changes which has been done by other users on different objects right into your uh, repository before you work, right? So uh, before you start working on a multi-user workspace, uh, you should always do an update all. This process can also be automated uh, using uh, the Tosca TC shell commands, right? You can, you can put a file which can update uh, all the repositories before they to start working on that, okay? Or else you can manually come and do it here. Uh, just do an update all so that it fetches all the changes from the database. Uh, if multiple users are working on that, okay? And uh, if all the objects are checked out by you, then uh, no other user will be able to work on this. So once you finish your work, you should always remember to check in all, uh, which will basically do a check-in of all your changes, right? So there are basically four options when you are working within a team, right? So this section tells you that. So there is uh, update all, as I said, there is check in all which will check in uh, everything which has been checked out by you okay and then there is a checkout option and a checkout tree option okay so let's see what is the difference between a checkout and a checkout tree option okay so checkout uh, basically it uh, it is related to just one single object but checkout tree 
will basically check out all the objects which are contained inside that particular folder or uh, inside that particular object right so if you look uh, at any particular folder right so if i go into this execution folder and i right click on this i will also get this option so either you can check out from here or you can do a checkout tree from here okay now if i do a checkout so if i am uh, doing this checkout it will basically check out only the execution folder but it will not check out the other objects which are contained inside this execution folder right so if you want to work on all the objects in this particular folder or say if you're working on a particular test case folder right so you will what you will want is you will want to check out the complete folder because currently you are working on it and you don't want anyone else to change that in those kind of scenarios you should basically do a checkout tree so that all the objects are checked out which you are currently working on and then you can check in all once you finish uh, working on that okay so uh, that's how you should be working on uh, see um, now if you have not checked out any particular uh, object or folder like this test cases okay you can see there is no no option to either create a folder or a test case template or a test case right so it is not showing any options and that's what happens when you work in a multi-user workspace you have to first check out that particular object which is the test cases folder and when i right click on this now i get all the options right so i can create a folder um, i can create a test case right so if i create a test case folder like this right and then i create some test cases here okay and maybe another test case so i have got these many test cases inside this folder right and now i do a check in all and it will basically check in everything inside uh, my repository right so the execution folder was checked in the test cases folder were checked in okay now um, if i want to work on this folder in test case 01 and i don't want anyone else to make changes to this because i expect a uh, lot of changes in all the different objects okay so in that kind of a scenario i can do a checkout tree right so if i do a checkout tree uh, all the objects inside this folder will be checked out and uh, Nobody else can basically do any changes on this, right? And once I finish this, I can uh, do a check in all, which will basically check in everything uh, which I have changed in my workspace. And then other users can access these changes. Okay. So as you can see, this is basically a check in check out process. It is pretty much similar to any code repository uh, if you worked on git or github uh, you will also follow this check-in and check-out process where you uh, check out your code changes and you do the code changes and then you check in uh, into the repository so that other developers can or other testers can basically access those changes right and if there is any conflicts then you have to resolve that conflicts and you have to merge uh, your changes with other developers so it's a similar process here in tosca as well right there is basically just one difference is that uh, whenever you are working on a particular object uh, it doesn't give uh, access to other developers they have to wait until you check in right so it's very important that uh, once you are completed with your work you do a check in all and before you start working you do a update all so that you get all the changes so it's pretty simplified uh, so that uh, if many users are working in a multi-user workspace, they don't get many conflicts uh, and you don't have to spend time on um, resolving those conflicts and doing a merge, right? So Tosca simplifies this process. It's just um, every user will work on its own objects. And then once they check in all or update all, those changes will be merged and available for everyone, okay? So this is one aspect of multi-user workspace. Uh, when you work on a real-time project, you have to follow this process of check-in and check-out and also the update all. 